Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, we are going to analyze different um, markets that include stock market, would include Dow Jones, S&P 500, Nasdaq 100, we'll also look at Tesla, then we'll uh, look at the commodity currencies that include Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar. We'll also look at British pound and Euro, they're presenting very interesting uh, trading setups, uh, all of them actually are tra uh, presenting very nice trading setups. And then we'll look at, at platinum and silver and gold and then you look at crude oil and in the end we'll look at Bitcoin. So some very nice interesting uh, pullbacks are occurring and we are at very nice opportunities so we'll discuss them one by one. And now my style of analysis is that I try to identify the main, uh, the larger trend and then I try to identify the collective pattern within the larger trend. So once the price is pulled back within the major trend, we can enter the trade and, and join the trend and then take benefit of the trend. That's the main uh, off of it. I normally recommend not to go and uh, trade with against the uh, market. And that's the normal um, practice that I um, try to foretell in, in my service as well. If you guys are interested in a midweek analysis, you can come join me on my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green the link will be available in description only for 29 US dollars and then uh, you'll be able to see additional um, uh, videos within the week whether that happened on Monday Tuesday Wednesday or Thursday it depends when we see an important price action and then I'll try to forecast that in and try to analyze that price action in the um, midweek analysis so let's start first of all we have uh, Dow Jones 30 and then before we can actually go discuss it, I have, uh, yeah, this is much better. And then we'll definitely discuss S&P 500 and Dow Jones 30 as well. Uh, because this I've done some a little bit of labeling, not too much, but just a little bit of labeling to give you some um, clue of it. First of all, I do understand that we have completed a major trend right over here too. I'm considering this as A, B, and C, a flat correction, an expanded flat correction. And then we have a completion wave right over here, wave 5. And I believe that we are at the early stages of the major bearish cycle downward. I have um, already foretold uh, that and then we will have been able to uh, forecast uh, this whole price movement downward. So where are we right now in the major time frame analysis? This is a four, le uh, four hourly time frame. First of all, we have this blue labeling, wave 1 right over here, wave 2 right over here. So wave 1 is right over here and wave 2 ending is right over here, which is A, B and C. We have wave 3 ending right over here too. We can actually see this right over here. Uh, uh, within wave 3, we can clearly subdivide wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Similarly, we can also see wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 within wave 1. And we have a 3 wave structure in wave 2. Right now, we have uh, completed a partial wave or within wave 4. And right now we are waiting for the completion of wave 4 that would allow us to actually join the, the bearish trend downward that actually started right from over here. Wave 1 is complete, wave 2 is complete, wave 3 is complete, wave 4 is ongoing. I will definitely discuss that. And then our main concern is to trade the downward wave 5. That's the main concern. Let's have a look on uh, um, hourly time frame. Let's see if we can find out some uh, trading opportunities uh, and especially because it's a 3 wave structure couple of things can p are possible first of all that we have completed wave A right over here too and this is wave B right over here of an expanded flat. Within wave B there is a possibility that we have completed uh, one leg and the second leg is still going on and then we'll see some price movement downward that will complete wave B. For example we can consider this as wave A, this as wave B and price going upward a little completing as wave C and then coming downward to complete this whole price movement as well. Let me uh, do some right here. So we can consider this as wave A, this as wave B, and this as wave C right over here too. And there is also a possibility that the price movement is complete right over here too for wave B. In that case, price would go up, have a pullback, and we should see a five wave structure right over here too. So um, if you want to look at it, uh, you should wait for the pullback and see when the pullback happens right over here too, whether the price crosses above the the previous impulsive move that will be indication that we have completed wave B. If not, if the price goes right over here too and comes down, that will be an indication of bearish price movement. Once again, price goes up, comes down, and then it crosses the sec second time. That will be indication that wave one and two is complete. And then probably, if you want, you can 
uh, trade it but it's going to be very very dangerous trade because uh, wave 4 is a, a corrective wave and we should not be trading but however I've given the analysis and it's up to you what you want to do and uh, we are mainly getting ready uh, for the next week um, let's see maybe in the middle of the next week or the later part of the next week for this wave all right and then we I have not done some labeling on S&P 500 you can see we are looking for a similar structure wave A wave B and then wave C we can definitely see an hourly time frame that there is a possibility we are exactly the same the same structure there's a possibility that wave A wave B and wave C are going to complete and then will come down before we go up uh, so that will also be a similar pattern and the overall labeling in S&P 500 is same as well. Let's have a look at Dow Jones 30 is showing a little more reversal um, and once again if you look at even though the reversal is there it's showing once again a similar pattern we can actually say it as wave A, wave B and wave C and then we'll wait for the prices to come down and then go up and give us some trading setup for going up right over here too. Once again, the major labeling is stays same in S&P 500, in uh, Nasdaq um, S&P 500, in Dow Jones 30, and Nasdaq 100. Let's have a look at Tesla. Tesla is um, has given us some very nice trading opportunities. We are clearly very bearish. In fact, Tesla is way way overbought, and uh, because it just went to the moon in its uh, bullish cycle when it was going through there. So I'm expecting that within the bearish cycle it's going to go further down. There's a lot of tendency for Tesla to go down. It's nothing to do with the how Tesla is going to perform. It's when the whole economy slows down then the sales would slow down and then that will bring the, uh, the investors to reality, harsh reality that they have bought the stock way, way overpriced. So that's the, mm, the point I'm looking at it within uh, last couple of months three four months we can see that the price already went from 1250 to 650 it's just the initial part of it we are just in the initial one two one two stage right over here too so a similar labeling can be used i will be able to do some uh, clear more forecasting on uh, this one right over here too we can clearly see that we can consider this as wave one and wave two wave three and wave four and then wave five so you you're seeing an overlapping right over here this is possible when the initial stage initial uh, wave is an uh, a leading diagonal so this is overlapping is possible on a smaller time frame though i do once and understand once again i'm looking at it that we can consider this as wave a and wave b and wave c that will complete a structure right over here and we shall wait for a down movement downward so there is another possibility that we can consider this whole price movement as wave 1, wave 2, this whole price movement as wave 3 and then we can wait for a wave 4 correction sharper and then come downward as well. So I'm expecting that a pullback would happen in either case a pullback would happen that would allow the mass to short Tesla once again. Now that's the, um, uh, that's the genuine uh, that's the general uh, outlook that I have in Tesla that I'm expecting for a pullback once that pullback happens then I'm expecting that this is an important area for resistance to for this pullback and then we shall test uh, go one more market downward one more wave downward in that case we can consider this as movement as wave one and two this whole rise movement as wave three this as wave four and a final wave wave five downward would be an interesting wave to, to look at it before we can uh, go and discuss uh, commodity currencies right over here too, uh, I have in my period previous weekly analysis, I told you guys, let's have a look on a daily time frame. I told you guys that we are going to go all the way right over here too. The, however, we are meeting the resistance. The structure within that price is complete uh, or is very close to the completion and that's why the trend that had we had the time to go up the trend was not as strong as you were expecting right now we're gonna look for downward in Australian dollar okay 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 and for confirmation 
we can look for the break of this double bottom right over here too when this double bottom right over here too gets broken we are looking downward in Australian dollar giving us an indication that Australian dollar will be weakening against US dollar the potential target uh, is downward let's have a look at this one but once again there is a possibility for more stronger weakness downward so for now we are looking uh, on the bearish side of the Australian dollar and let's have a look on a New Zealand dollar as well a similar pattern is expected once again on uh, my previous weekend analysis I indicated you guys from right here that prices would be going upward uh, prices did go up where we are it seems that we are very very close to the completion of the pattern right now so I'm not thinking that price would carry on all the way right over here too right now we're expecting prices to go downward in New Zealand dollar we can clearly see that the support line that is coming right from the top is acting as the resistance right over here too and that resistance has been quite important let me delete these extra lines right over here too and the trend line is also important we can see that the trend line ran from the top right over here too prices came down sharply and they're right now retesting that support as well so it's all negative for New Zealand dollar we're looking downward in New Zealand dollar our potential target for New Zealand dollar is either uh, we have already reached this one right over here so we can look at the lower end of the structure right over here too so the lower end of the structure is right over here too we can look for Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar to be weak in next week, and then I'll give I'll be able to give the larger forecast, and you'll be able to see that on um, our gold and silver. That will be a little more detailed than and you can. Uh, most of these swings are going uh, in the same direction as gold and silver are going, and platinum as well. Canadian dollar, we have seen nice uh, price movement going downward from right over here on the top I told you guys that we are expecting for the price to go downward we have seen some of that price movement we are expecting it to go all the way right over here too but I made an update on my patreon page that patreon page update is available if you guys want to see it and then we can clearly see it on Thursday evening uh, just before my uh, Friday session this is uh, that you are going to see the bullish price action and then we have seen the bullish price action good news is that this is only the beginning of the bullish price action we are expecting for the uh, Canadian dollar to become more weak against US dollar let's have a look at the chart for potential uh, let me have a look at because we have already crossed the once again we have already reached in this area the next target is going to be in this area right over here too I'm looking at this correctional structure I'm expecting that we are going to see probably the upper uh, part of it because we have seen uh, the lower part of it tested and we are kind of finding support on that structure giving us an indication the major swing upward is expected in Canadian dollar so Canadian dollar is going to be weak in uh, as far as the pattern is concerned British pound is completing very interesting pattern and we are expecting that more weakness is expected in British pound we are considering this whole pattern as wave A and wave B and wave C so I'm s expecting that a little bit more bullish price action is a possibility that it is left out as soon as this price uh, action that actually started from over here is going to complete right over here we're going to see for the uh, British pound to go down and one major swing and we can see that that not only we have completed the uh, right over here the top part of it the prices actually came right through it tested the lower part of it the next target for uh, then definitely British pound remains this one right over here all the way so because right now the prices did find some resistance right over here they're gonna go up they're gonna find some support and they're gonna come down all the way right over here on a 15 minute charts let's have a look if you can actually point out the smaller waves we can clearly see an A B and C we have another A B and C structure or B can go right over here too and then this whole one is C and I'm considering this price movement as a possibility of one two three four and five structure so I'm expecting that there is a possibility that you're gonna see something like 
this one right over here too. So keep in mind that truncation is a reality. It happens in the market more often than it does not happen, especially in forex currencies. Truncation is a solid pro, uh, reality. Please do not ignore that. So we can draw a double bottom trend line right over here too. When prices go up and fall below this one, that will be indication that you can turn negative. And I already told you guys on a daily time frame, next week is going to be bearish for British pound. Because the correction pattern is very, very close to the completion. And once that pair pattern is complete, we are looking for the price movement, uh, movement to go further down. The whole price movement that actually started right from over here is, or actually right from here is yet not complete. Euro is completing a similar pattern. We are uh, not only we have actually, uh, I think there is a quite a possibility that we have actually already started the decline right over here too. So similar thing goes in British pound as well. So keep in mind that when prices falls below an important uh, support area, in this case we can use this one. Just wait a little for the prices to give a confirmation. This is a possibility. All right. Once again, if I can, I can simply do one, two, three, four, five right over here too, because I'm considering as wave A and wave B and this whole as wave C. So we're already seeing that the prices got rejected and their area. The only problem that I'm looking at is this price movement. It seems corrective. However, if price drop decides to drop all the way right over here too, we cannot stop it. All right, this is the reality of the market. So what we can do, we can actually use this trend line. We can use this one right over here too. And we can use this one right over here too. If price falls below this one, that will be indication that we can consider it as a smaller wave one, a smaller two, a smaller wave one, a smaller two, and the price movement would go downward. So keep a close eye, giving us an indication that the previous pattern would be completing right over here too. If price decides to go above right over here too, then once again, that will be indication that the price is going up. In that case, we can bring a horizontal support right over here too. And when prices comes down right over here too, it will be making waves. So as soon as the corrective wave is complete and is dropped out, that will be indication that we are going downward. The point here is that we can use a smaller time frame analysis to pick that where exactly the top is, and then we can go down. The major trend seems because we have A, B, and C, the pattern is more clear in Euro as in British Pound and that means we are going down in Euro and British Pound. On a daily time frame we can look at it that we have already tested this level. We have already tested this level right over here too. So a new low there is a possibility that a new low beyond this point is a possibility. Since this will be a new low the largest structure that we are seeing is A, B, and C, A, B, and C. So this is a double three pattern looking for. In that case, when the down price movement is complete, then we will definitely be looking upward. We will definitely be looking upward in a zigzag form. So that will be the our main analysis for euros in next couple of years to come. And that will be completing a larger structure that will actually start right from over here. Platinum. Alright. The we were expecting for platinum to go all the way right over here too. Instead, we are seeing that on hourly time frame, we are finding a structure called expanded flat. Right now. So we can consider this whole price movement as an impulsive wave an A and a B and a C right over here too or you can consider this price movement actually ended right over here too so we can consider this as A, B, C, a 3 wave structure a 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure so wave 3 A, B and C another A, B, C of a smaller degree and then that would complete an expanded flat that actually started right from over here we have seen the bearish price movement downward a smaller wave downward on a 15 minute time frame and then we are see the pullback as well. So I'm expecting uh, that we're going to see a new low in platinum. Platinum is going to create a new low right over here too. We have triple bottom right over here too. One, two, and three. And then once again, if you look at this price structure, then we can see that the prices got rejected from the top of it. 
and then right now we can find that the structure smaller sm support structure is happening on a on this prime price analysis so we can bring the that our new forecast our target for is going to be 826 in platinum we're bearish on platinum and our target is going to be in the lower end of this particular structure as well that will be indication that we'll be completing a new clear creating a new low beyond these triple tops uh, triple bottoms I mean and then next week is going to be clearly bearish for platinum we have silver and once again you're expecting for silver on my previous weekly analysis that I told you guys we were expecting that silver would go all the way right over here too in this case we had a support structure in this one retesting in this case we can see that the the structure seems complete uh, and very close to the completion and is finding resistance in this board structure right over here too so this is an important one giving us indication that bears are even in more control and then we are going to see major price movement downward so how do we know that this price structure is complete right over here too we can definitely draw this uh, trend line if you want to be a little more uh, sure then definitely use horizontal line and then we can consider if you want to consider this we can consider it as W X and Y A B C and X and A B and C we can clearly this structure see this structure right over here too A B C a smaller A B C on a 15 minute chart we can zoom it a little bit and we can see that we are also seeing a structure right over here too that is right over here to A, B and C 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then we are heading downward so we have seen a pullback let's have a look on a daily time frame to see major target uh, let me see the because this seems right over here too let me see if we can have some more structure downward right over here too okay I can't seem to find the structure so we can assume that the top right over here too could be one target and this could be one target for silver right over here 1960 and if price is able to cross that then we're looking at the bottom end of this particular structure right over here too which is going to be 1650 right over here the this is uh, clear that silver is going to be bearish in next uh, week so next four five five six days are going to be clearly bearish for silver and then we'll look at more in uh, next weekend gold let's have a look at gold this forecast was given on uh, Thursday evening we were expecting for gold right from bottom all the way right to the top right over here in this region but as we can see that the pattern is completing wave A wave B right over here too and wave C is very very close to the completion and is completing in a structure right over here too so this is also a valid uh, pullback and we can see that the this we are good uh, we have good about sixty uh, dollar pullback in the price of gold so we are going to be bearish the major swing is going to be major bearish in uh, in gold let me have a look and all right I want to see I want you to tell you guys that we have we can I'm going to delete this so you can actually see the larger pattern clear so this is wave A wave B ended right over here too A B and C and then we have wave 1 and 2 and wave 3 and 4 and 5 or wave 4 can be completed right over here too and then we're going to create a new high right over here in that case we can actually use the break of this which is 1832 as an indication that we have created a top so this is a clear completion a very clear structure in gold now we can delete that so we can actually look at the daily time frame and see the major uh, bottom target for gold so there are a couple of targets that we have seen first of all this trend line uh, we have seen one two three four but not in the most recent history after this one this trend line got we haven't retested that trend line could that trend line be not active there is a possibility that the trend line is not active 
most recent bottom that we can see is right over here too. We are one, two, three. So we can consider this here as one structure. We have second structure that completes right over here, right from the top. We have this structure, A, B, and C. Uh, once again, we have a double pot top. So we have basically one structure, second structure, and a third structure completing. So this top, this bottom, which is around 1675, seems more valid than this trend line. Do understand that just because the price is going to go below this trend line, the green one, does not actually mean that price is going all the way down right over here too. Because this structure is very important as well. This support structure is very important. So on a larger time frame, we can see that we have right swing right over here too. We have another swing right over here too. And then we're going to go come down right over here too. This is clearly wave 1 right over here. This is wave 2, wave 3, wave 4. And then prices are expected to come down. On a smaller time frame, we have seen that this pullback is complete right now. It's very, very close to the completion. So this was a little more messier than we thought, this pullback. This one is going to be smaller lived right over here too. And this is one of the characteristic characteristics in uh, waves. Sometimes it does happen, but on a smaller time frame when we have zoomed in, we can see the structure. I'm expecting that we can considerably call if this one is as wave 1, this as wave 2, this as wave 3, this as wave 4, and a wave 5 downward. The potential target for wave downward once again is right over here. And that would be completing our wave A, wave B, and wave C right over here. And that will be completing wave 3 and 4. Wave 3 is already complete. That will be completing wave 4. And it's going to be very good, interesting uh, buying point for the price of gold and silver. We are still away about about $180. Uh, so 1845, 1675, $170, right? Yeah, $170. We are away about $170 and this trade is going to be very next uh, very nice trade. I'm expecting that next few days uh, maybe about two weeks of trading are going to be some bearish price movement happening in gold. And then the, we will be seeing a very, very nice buying point at 1675. Just do not, just because prices below w drop below this uh, trend line, do not consider that we are going to go all the way right over here too. I think that silver uh, and gold and platinum are both going to be oversold territory because this price movement happened very quickly. Let's have a look at crude oil. We have seen that we were expecting for the price to go up right over here too. So we did see the up prices and we have seen the reversal as well. So what's happening right now? First of all, daily tried price movement. Uh, for price movement. I'm expecting a major downward trend in the price of crude oil right over here too. There is a potential that we can see our target hitting the top of this structure right over here. And there is a potential that we can actually come at the bottom of this structure as well. So we are going to get prepared for both of these things. Either the price target is going to be this one or this one right over here too. Let's have a look on a smaller time frame so we can actually look at an important price action. So if you look at it starting from this top, we have wave 1, smaller wave 1, smaller wave 2, smaller wave 3, smaller wave 4, and smaller wave 5. We have seen a clear 5 wave structure. We can use the trend line to connect smaller wave 2 and 4 right over here too. And then we can see that the trend line got uh, corrected. And I mean the trend line got broken. So the correction could actually end right over here too in this zone or it could actually end in the wave 2 structure. Right now we can see that a smaller wave 2 structure we are in this region. We can clearly look at the structure of the price movement starting from this bottom. Then we can clearly see that we can easily call it as wave A and wave B and wave C right over here too. Or there is other possibility there. This is smaller wave 1 and smaller 2 another smaller wave 1 and this is A, B and C. 
in that case this is a stronger wave 1 and wave 2 wave 3 wave 4 and wave 5 and that would come right over here too that will be completing an ending diagonal and it does happen from time to time it's not going to be as beautiful as we thought uh, now of a bookish knowledge of Elliott wave analysis but this is a valid pattern Another possibility that we can also look at this is we can consider this price movement as a single zigzag, this as, as a double three, and this is A, B, and C. So both things are valid. The whole point is that we have a larger price movement downward, a pullback, or we can see a larger price movement downward, a pullback quite a bit. We can definitely use a percentage scale right from over here. Right now we are uh, considering this as 100%. And we can see that we can actually go as 75% right over here to see a double top or we can actually go a little big in this region maybe 50% of the gap between 87.5 and 75% and the when will go downward the price is the main trend I've already told you guys that I'm expecting for it to be downward when prices drops below 108 there will be indication that the pattern that actually started right from over here is complete in rare cases in rare cases it does happen and give me a moment please yeah this is more likely uh, that we're gonna see prices coming all the way down right over here too I was gonna say that we there's a potential for it to be staying in this region but it seems it seems less likely alright because let's say if this is the whole price movement an impulsive movement and this is the corrective movement and the corrective movement is definitely more than that one and I don't want to risk this one price movement as well in case that th this is actually to be the whole price movement starting from this top then we'll also be competing almost the same time frame for the impulsive in corrective as well so I'm expecting that when prices comes down we'll be creating a new low in crude oil let's have a look at some trend lines that if we can draw from the top that trend line can be useful right over here too and we can use an hourly time frame right over here too so this gives you an idea that how far away from the trend we are. The major trend is bearish and we are close to the trend line. Once again, it's a win-win situation for a price going downward. It's going to be a very, very elegant entry. All right, Bitcoin. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. right I'm expecting that the price section is either complete or not we're gonna see a major price movement downward and then I'm expecting that we shall see a corrective pattern in this region that corrective pattern could be a flat pattern like we have seen right over here too or it could easily be a uh, if this happens to be a flat pattern then that would be an indication that we are going further way further down but this pattern is going to be the chance of bulls to show some strength there is a possibility that we can see a zigzag pattern forming in this region as well so once prices fall in this region we'll have to very closely look at it this pattern is going to be a one of an important uh, places where we can actually see that how far we can go down in Bitcoin I already told you guys that from this top I'm expecting that we're gonna go down in Bitcoin Bitcoin was right over here when I told you guys that you're expecting downward on our time frame let's have a look so we can clearly see an A B and C structure I'm pretty sure that you guys can see that too the problem is that prices went up and we have not seen a good follow-up after this corrective structure right over here too so let me have a look and then we let's say that we have completed this structure right started right the structure from over here and then we have completed this structure right over here too 
could this be a possibility that you're gonna stay in this structure for a while and then go up a little and then come down let's have a look okay in that case we can use this area this one right over here so if prices falls below this one we're gonna see some major price movement as this one we have seen a price movement like right over here too so we're gonna see a swing like this one right over here too after the the structure that actually started right from over here too is complete because we are expecting for the price wave right over here in this direction and that has not happened meaning that the structure actually started right from over here is probably yet not complete however if false price falls below this one giving an indication that a truncation is happening right over here too in that case we can consider consider that the top has happened right over here too or over here and then we can wait for the prices to go further down one price is crossed this correction giving an indication that we're gonna see a structure something like this a 5f structure correction and another 5f structure and then we can see seen correction another 5 wave structure downward so next few days are going to be bearish in Bitcoin I hope that you guys are able to see some content value in my content and if you do so please push that thumbs up button uh, I try to read every single comment so that's a welcome if you guys want to support me and want to see additional uh, during the week analysis that we uh, will be available on my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green link will also be available in description wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye